Okay, I'm going to show you how to put an overall texture over the whole surface of your model. We'll pull out my head sculpture here. All right, now I've already upped my resolution because I'm getting ready to put detail on it. So this is the first step. All right, so I've put it at about a million. It could be up to a million, two million. We could even up at one. Let's go ahead and, oops, sorry, wrong window. Uh, I'm going to divide it one time. Should make about okay so it made it four million so this is when we're putting high detail on it okay but the sculpture is really smooth at the moment and there's nothing on it so it's going to be very difficult to use what we're going to we're going to be using spotlight to put textures on from the photograph of the face so before we do that we want a little extra texture in places where we don't have necessarily have photos um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to surface right here and we're going to use this area to apply a noise texture to the skin. So I'm going to hit noise right here. Okay. All right. So in this window, when it comes up, it's a little intimidating, but don't don't really worry about it. We're going to zoom in on it, and it automatically puts a noise texture onto the sculpture. You can't sculpt on it or anything; it just moves it around. So it's safe in here. So what you want to do is pick an area that you think needs textured. Well, the whole thing is going to get this overall texture, but an area that you can really look at and bring it up close when you're doing this. Okay, so like that's a little bit much for a skin texture, so we're going to change that. And in this window right here, um, you can change the way that the uh, dimensions are drawn for the texture. It's almost like a cookie cutter stamp. So you can start playing with these and it changes that texture that you're seeing on the skin. It can almost completely alleviate it. Um, so I'm going to mess with this a little bit and get it to where I like it. I want it to feel more like pores. I'm not too heavy. I want it to be pretty light. going to move it around. If you need to, move it drastically so you can see what's going to happen here. I'm going to pull this down here like this. Um, very interestingly enough, these little dots here that I'm moving around, once you've created them, you can make multiples of them. You know, have a whole bunch of them and change the way this thing looks all over the place. Um, what you want to do is if you don't want this dot, you just pull it off the screen. So I just take it and go right to the edge, and it goes, boink, and it's gone. All right. So I'm going to get rid of this one, too, because I really don't want that. So let's see if we can get sort of a skin pores -y kind of texture happening here. And it's creating sort of a mountain. I don't like the mountain look. Now it slowed down a lot, mainly because I upped the uh, subdivision levels. Okay, so now I got sort of what I like. All right, now I'm going to go into scale here, our st uh, strength, and we're going to change this. So like, I can make it really strong. It's quite scary. <laughs> And I can start slowing it down and taking it. I want it to be sort of soft. I want a little bit of poor texture, but not a tremendous amount. I'm going to say that's pretty good. At least there's like it breaks up the surface and doesn't make it smooth anymore. Oh, maybe just a little bit more than that. Nope, that's too much. I think there's good. All right. So you can change that like that. Um, down here at the bottom, you can play with the, the different offsets of this and move it around on the on the face. 
right? It does different things. So when you do this and you mess with any of these, like and you're experimenting, if you don't like it, you just hit reset offset. Because for each one of these, when you change one, the, the corresponding piece underneath will change. So reset scale will light up if I move one of these. So if I don't like it, I could just pop and it's back to normal. So don't be worried about this. Just, you know, if you want to experiment, go right ahead. But I think this texture is going to be due for now. Okay. So now what that does is that places it all over our head. Oh, I didn't apply it. So apply to mesh. Now it becomes part of it. There. Actually, it might be a little too subtle. Oops. For my tastes. But for now, I guess that's all right. Let's go back in and make it just a little bit more prominent. So if you're going to go back in, I turn on noise, it added more to it, but it, we can't work on it. So you have to hit edit now that we've already been in there. So now I'm going to go back to the strength here a bit. Or I'm going to pump it up just a snidge. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to apply that to the mesh because I like where it's at now. All right, so now that we've got this, now you have the noise texture. Instead of it being just super smooth, we have something going on in here. Give it a little bit more like skin pores. They could have been a little bit bigger, but we'll go with that for now. And that's how you create a surface texture for the skin.